Okay, uh, so that's an episode of Death Note. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> Are there any questions, yeah. comments, <laughs> donations? My, I have a question here. I mean, did you get a chance to read the manga before you started knowing about the anime that was being created? A little bit, but no, not not as such. Okay. I didn't get to whip more, no, make my way through the entire so, series. Really. So, as you were doing this, as you were progressing along the series during no. during the episodes, what did you think of the series? I mean, I I mean, I, I kind of liked it up until I kind of liked. The, Reading the manga up until about volume nine, volume nine ten ish, when when a certain character, when a certain character, I think we're past around. the spoiler phase but, now. I yeah. think we're allowed to say whatever we want. Yeah. Right? yeah, but I was like, I was like, it seemed to me, it seemed to me. I mean, I, I like I like the series. I mean, I like the series, and I and I, I enjoy watching the the anime. There's but a it plot seemed, coming. Yeah, it just seemed like. Oh, I, I'm, you're just trying to outmaneuver everyone else. It's like I'm, I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to see if I can pull L. And then Elsa would be like, I'm going to pull. I'm going to see if I can pull him. And it's like it just seemed like it almost seemed like you want to just want to outmaneuver the other person. I mean, did it did it seem like that? It's like did it seem kind of I don't want to say weird, but it's kind of <laughs> anime kind of weird. weird? To, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But it seemed like they were all, always trying to like they want to be on top. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's like a big, you know, you know it's, how it is when you're when when you when you grab the the baseball and you want to you want to be the one at the very top. It just seems, it just seems like it was just a constant struggle. Yeah, it's both of them that. both pounding their chests. And, <laughs> you know, and it's, but it was it's kind of funny to see how that the little cat and mouse game was able to develop through the entire series because there's a lot of things that are kind of thrown in there. Like, I mean, there's a whole couple episodes where they're handcuffed together. <laughs> it's like, okay, yes. let's, let's see them fight and not mm -hmm. fight and work together and try and solve all this kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, uh, Light manages to start bringing in some extra people. You know, we get to meet Misa and, mm -hmm. uh, and further some more along the line. And I still owe Misa a huge apology because yeah. <laughs> Light was really mean. <laughs> really yeah. mean. And you know, Misu was a bit annoying at times, but still, she didn't deserve that kind of a treatment. So, yeah, Misu, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I miss you. It's all good. Okay. Did any of you have anything yeah. you wanted to ask? Go oh, ahead. Everybody does like bloopers where they'll just like say something for fun just to see what the person that comes in next does. Did anybody do that to you or did you do that to anybody else? Oh, in the studio? Yeah, in oh, the studio. yeah, that happens all the time. Any good ones you can remember off the top of your head? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to say most of the things. I mean, okay, you gotta understand, uh, like I've worked on some American shows like X-Men and stuff like that, and for those cartoons, they have the entire cast in the same room, yeah. and we all record yeah. together. And then they draw the cartoons yeah. after yeah. that. Yeah. For these, you're one actor in at a time. So usually, I mean, as you saw in the uh, that little behind-the-scenes footage, sometimes there's clients there and producers and things like that. But as you get into a series, usually it's just me in the booth, the director, and the engineer. And that's it. So we entertain ourselves during the course of a session. So we'll always come up with stupid little things to you know, put in. And usually, I'm one of the first guys to go. It's like, if, if you have one of the bigger uh, parts, you have more lines. Mm -hmm. So I would go in first. So it was all the other people that came in after me that got to uh, suffer the wrath of whatever. So yeah, you're sitting, sitting in, the, in the booth, and you got your head set on, and you hear, doot, 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 and then you start talking, right? Well, sometimes, yeah, during the beeps, there's the, the previous line by, of one of the other characters, and it'll be something ridiculous, and it's usually dirty. <laughs> you know, that's just, it's just the easy, it's, it's tension release, right? So it's usually something yeah. filthy, and then, okay, we're going to have to do that again. So did that Chris at all, or, like, What's that? did you do any, like, I know, like, after you hear surnames for a while, like, Chris hears the over 9,000 thing, you ever mess with him in that type of way, or? Oh, God. Well, since oh, like, he's the, <laughs> <laughs> With this show, I mean, all <laughs> it seems, seems to me that only the only thing people take from this show, as far as my character is concerned, is they want me to laugh, <laughs> and then they want me to eat potato chips. <laughs> I get force-fed potato chips, and I have to laugh maniacally. So yeah, I, I wish I had a line as simple as it's over nine thousand. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, mine are a bit more choke on the app. Yeah, I get choke. Yes. <laughs> Okay. But Question. It's all the good times. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, let, I'll let him go and then I'll go with you. But. How do you feel about your role being taken by Zach Efron? Is that actually happening? Uh, according to him, yes. I've been hearing that for like years. That I've, okay, I have, I, have, I have issue. 
You open up a can here. <laughs> um, okay. So this show uh, was released, came out, very popular, popular in Japan, popular here, which you know didn't surprise me at all. And that since that happened, there was talk about making the Hollywood version of it, right? Um, did anyone ever see the live action uh, movies? No. Did yes. anybody get to see them in theater? No. That was awesome. I think it's <laughs> they did, in, in, in a lot of places, they did a limited theatrical release of it, and they yeah. actually played the dubbed version, which I thought was cool. Because yeah. you know, I got to go in there. And it was a Japanese fellow talking in English, and it's my voice, and it was very fun. But I like those movies, you know. And even like, okay, the 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 manga is different than the anime, which is different from the live action movies. There's little differences in in all of them, right? So, so of course, then I hear that Hollywood's going to be making a movie, and I get scared right away. Like, you know, <laughs> did anybody see Dragon Ball Evolution? Oh god! Oh, yeah. Yeah. I still Woo! haven't. I still haven't seen this. I still haven't seen it because anytime I mention the fact, oh, I still want to see it, people basically start throwing things at me. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, well, I'm gonna have to see it at some point. Did you actually like it? If it wasn't called Dragon Ball, it'd be a good action movie. Okay. Yeah. See, okay, <laughs> this is a tangent, but. Yeah. Um, did anybody see the G.I. Joe live action movie? Yes. I did. Yeah. That makes me so angry. That movie just made me so angry. The first post is a new one. And The Rock. Great. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe they were making another one. Man, oh, with The Rock. The, one, one thing that drove me nuts right away is they made they gave uh, snake eyes. It's like when they put nipples on the bat suit. That, that, that made a lot of people like all freak out. I didn't care about that. But but Snake Eyes, they gave him a mouth. Like a molded no. mouth that didn't do anything. Like, oh man, you got Darth Maul playing yeah, Snake yeah, Eyes. Uh, that, that movie just made me angry. <laughs> angry, angry. But I, you know, I watched the cartoons when I was a kid, right? So, man. Yeah. Okay, so back to the actual <laughs> question. Yeah, to oh, yeah. Tangents, right? I mean, I'm... Oh, yeah. I've been hearing forever that they're... And when they were talking about Zac Efron, they did that from day one. It's because they had the same hair. Is that really a, a, a reason that you're going to cast somebody? So I don't believe any of that. <laughs> it's a face. It's a yeah, face. Okay. Right. I mean, and at that time, he was he was still doing his you know High School Musical thing, right? So I thought, well, okay, that sucks, but it'd actually be really good for him because it'd be totally opposite of what he's doing. Yeah. So from like an actor's point of view, like it'd be awesome if he could do that. But I just, I don't know if that I don't know if that movie's ever going to happen, and if they do, I don't think they're going to cast Zach. Yeah, although they might, who knows? Well, according to one the internet, video, mm -hmm. <laughs> a video of him talking about it, uh, he signed on to it already. Really? Do we know anything else about it? Do we know who's directing it or who's writing it or any of that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah, so scared, yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. I mean, he is a fan, and he's pushing to get a... Basically, he wants them to use the script as a Japanese live action if they can. Okay. They'll, yeah, that's never gonna fly. Sorry. They'll have to change things. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know it's just it's it's always tricky when you take a series and make it into a movie. I mean, are they gonna make it like a trilogy? Are they gonna try and cram it all into one movie? I mean, there's so many ways that they can just destroy it. Right? Mm -hmm. um, but who knows? I mean, they could. And at the very least, I, I really don't have too many problems with it because at the very least, there's probably people that don't know anything about the show that may see a Hollywood movie and that might get them to pick up the manga or, you know, start watching the anime or just, you know, get interested. So, you know, if it sucks, it sucks. If it's good, it's good. It's still more Death Note, so I'd be excited. I'd check this out, you know. Um, yeah, I don't really care. I, I do know, I haven't really watched too much of Zac Efron stuff, but I did see Firefly, and he was in Firefly. Did anybody, any Firefly fans here, anybody seen Firefly? What's wrong with you people? No, You're okay, you can stay everybody else out. A Firefly was like a, does anybody know what? Firefly was. Like yes, yeah, it was a canceled sci-fi series um, that, in my mind, was really, really good. Wasn't watching it at the time because it got canceled. I'd never seen it. And then after it got canceled, um, suddenly there was this crazy outcry. Um, talking here, come on! So the series gets canceled. I think it was Fox that was doing it. They just totally they they, they messed up. They also, I mean. The series started with a two-hour um, like pilot episode, and when they started to airing it on TV, they decided to start with episode two, which makes no sense. I mean, the pilot episode, the two hours, sets up the entire series, and they're like, no, nah, it's too long. We don't want to do a two-hour time slot or for whatever reason, so they just started with episode two, and they took things out of sequence, and they canceled it, and then people went crazy because they just loved it. Um, 
And so it ended up spawning a feature film. You know, how often does a, a canceled TV series spawn a feature film? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know where I was going with that at all. Oh, yeah, Zach Afron was in it. Yeah. That's a little <laughs> trivia. He had a very small part. He, he played like a younger version of one of the characters, but uh, okay, then he went on to, this was before High School Musical and stuff. Yeah. So. They're making surrender. Really? Yes. Really? Everyone sort of died. I mean, yeah, they killed off so many people. You know what? But I would, I would love it. I, I trust, I trust Joss, man. I like his stuff. Has yeah. anybody seen Doctor Horrible sing? You've seen Long Blonde. Yeah. Oh God, that one's See, amazing. I, I never really watched Buffy or, or, or any of that stuff, but uh, but from Firefly and uh, and from Doctor Horrible, I, I trust Joss a lot. Buffy mm. got a rave review in USA Today. Day of the first episodes, I watched that and watched the rest of it after. Yep. You don't get news, often get newspapers running rave reviews. No, they tend to trash things. Mm -hmm. You had a question? Yes. Um, yeah. She had a question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If ever you were to cosplay as light, which one of his outfits would you wear? Uh, which light outfit? He doesn't have a whole lot of wardrobe changes, does he? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do the red tie. Oh, yeah. Pretty boring. <laughs> What about the tennis outfit? <laughs> the tennis, <laughs> the tennis outfit. outfit. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, uh, I would dress up as a big bag of potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, at the uh, at, at this uh, the theatrical release of one of the Death Note movies, I think it, I can't remember if it was the first. It might have been the second one. Um, there was there's a girl there that was dressed up as the Death Note. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. It was, and it was gigantic. Like, and you know, it opened up and there was pages written and stuff. And I was thinking of how impressed I was with the outfit. I'm like, how are you going to watch a movie with that? Thing? You know, like it's, eh. I know, it's, it's like if you ever see somebody that's dressed up as a Gundam. Oh yeah, and it looks yes. all awesome, and so they're in like the masquerade or whatever. And they're looking all cool, bench, 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 and then they have to get up on the stage. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I know. like three guys trying to lift him up, and the head falls <laughs> off, and everything. It's uh, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, some some yeah, some outfits look up cool up. and are just not maneuverable <laughs> at all. Oh my god. Um, not to be to be honest, I'd probably dress up as Misa. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> um, all right. Anyone else care to ask the great Bud Spade? Great. Um, uh, <laughs> great great <laughs> um, Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, well, go ahead. Did your initial expectations from the uh, video there pan out? Yeah, you know, I, I knew that uh, the show was going to be popular. Um, I didn't know that it was going to be as popular as it became here in the States. Um, so it, it exceeded my expectations. Um, I'm not sure, I, I kind of walked into the uh, what you were watching, but... Uh, my audition for Death Note was one of my favorite auditions I've ever had because we had one page of dialogue and it was dialogue that was plucked from the entire series. So at the beginning of the page, you see him as like the mild-mannered, you know, student all kind of stuff. And by the end, it's maniacal laughter and all that craziness. <laughs> so you could see like the range that his emotional, you know, journey was going to take um, all in, all right in front of you in, in one page of dialogue. And that was really cool. So that was, you know, Right. I knew a little bit about Death Note, but not much. Um, then I, when I when I found out about this audition, then I kind of looked into it a little bit more, got more excited. And then when I when I actually got the audition side, um, like I said in that video, I really wanted that part. Uh, and I mean, Carl was kind of singing my praises a little bit at the beginning of that. Of course, that was episode. That was the first batch, right? So I think we recorded like you know four episodes, and that was that. Um, and me and Carl worked together on several shows before, so we had a pretty good rapport. By the time, <clears throat> so you know, the situation, you know, it was normal um, until the last episode, and I was a pain in the ass for the last episode <laughs> because I didn't want the show to end. So I was kind of mopey and whiny and stuff. And I watched the original Japanese um, of, of the final episode probably four or five times before I went in because I knew that people were just gonna slam me for it, right? <laughs> which I mean whatever, allow them. If you don't, yeah. if you really can't stand me, that's totally fine. Listen to the Japanese.